The Inspectorate of Government launched an awareness walk around the city as one of the activities to mark the start of the anti-corruption week. Corruption scandals in the country have been making headlines since last year and figures from the anti-graft agencies put the sums of money lost from government ministries at over 2 trillion shillings. The scandals have also led several commentators to fault the government for condoning corruption but the Prime Minister Maman Babazi says the government has set in place stringent mechanisms to curb corruption. The constitution which is founded on effective national objectives and principles of state policy entails the most effective weapon to rid the state and the society of corruption in all its manifestations. The Inspector General of Government is optimistic of her department's performance this time round given the enactment of the necessary laws to fight graft. Our constitution is loaded uh, all over Africa as a good constitution. So there's no reason why the inspectorate, which also has the mandate to ensure that the constitution is upheld, should not be successful. But the IGG's optimism is not shared by some members of civil society, religious leaders and analysts who contend that existence of laws does not guarantee an effective fight against corruption. I think Uganda, what we are suffering from right now, is a crisis of weak laws. The laws are there, but if you think about it, we have several things that are not happening. One of them is like now the anti-corruption court is being uh, contested. We all get to, to, to work late and we expect to be paid a salary worth our input in those institutions. That is still corruption. And I can understand why these institutions don't function. You've seen in the recent past, wherever and whenever these institutions want to fight corruption, they are disbanded. In South Africa, Scorpion was disbanded. In Kenya, the Kenya Anti-Corruption Authority was disbanded. The civil society activists also questioned the Prime Minister's assertion about the government's great efforts of eliminating corruption. People have asked a question in this convention, that how come he's still driving a car that was bought out of PRDP money? I know his answer has always been that he doesn't do the procurement. But because you are a political leader, you take the political decision not to spend money from the wrong vote. And those are kinds of things that will show the political will. Political will is not lip service. Political will is action. It on the 9th of this month, the world will mark the International Anti-Corruption Day to raise awareness of corruption and the UN Convention's role in combating and preventing it. The Inspectorate of Government and Civil Society activists have begun creating awareness in Uganda through public dialogues and sensitization campaigns. Sohel Mugabe, NTV.